proposed charter came fast and pretty furious. The government suggested it's ready to take the Quebec government to court if any new rules are found to violate basic human rights. Our senior correspondent Terry Molesky has that part of the story. Terry. Well, Peter, it is unusual when the Conservatives, the NDP and the Liberals all agree on something. And it's even more unusual when the polls suggest that most voters in Quebec take the opposite view. But never mind, they all say the new charter is wrong. We are very concerned about any proposal uh, that would discriminate unfairly against people based on their religion, based on their deepest convictions. Jason Kenney, the Minister for Multiculturalism, who spent years courting immigrant voters, said Ottawa will consider taking Quebec to court if the plan becomes law. If it's determined that uh, a pr prospective law violates the constitutional protection to which all Canadians are entitled, we will defend those rights vigorously. Of course, that won't be necessary if the plan goes nowhere, but neither the government nor the opposition is waiting to find out. To be told that a woman working in a daycare centre because she's wearing a headscarf will lose her job is to us intolerable in our society. Thomas Mulcair is a Quebecer whose caucus is full of other Quebecers, some of whom support the proposal, but not openly, now that Mulcair has overruled them by saying his party will oppose it. What we have today is an attempt to impose state-mandated discrimination against minorities in the Quebec civil service. That, for us, is an absolute non-starter. The Liberal leader, too, is a Quebecer, and he conceded that there may be public support so far for the new charter, but... I trust and want to reassure Canadians that Madame Marois does not speak for all Quebecers when she puts forward uh, an idea uh, of forcing people to choose between uh, their work uh, and uh, their religion. So the polls be damned. All the Federalist parties, including the Greens, are condemning this new charter, even when they're all desperate for votes in Quebec. After all, the NDP needs to hang on to its stronghold there in the next election. The Conservatives and the Liberals both need to take it from them. But they've all calculated that they need to reject this proposal regardless. Peter. Terry's on Parliament Hill in Ottawa tonight.